Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So as you can tell, a little bit different uh, video here than our normal. So this is going to be on uh, Speaker Lab. So this will be a just a catalog dump on the 1979 catalog. I'm actually going to load all the catalogs on here. going to put about a minute, minute and a half on each page and then just let it go. So if you're into Speaker Lab speakers, this is a super cool video. If you're into home theater, probably just skip it. A uh, quick little bit of history. So I was with Speaker Lab from 1996 until 2009, the middle of 2009. I uh, resigned and went ahead and went to an e-commerce company. Um, those last three years at Speaker Lab, I was 20% owner. And I actually own the majority of all the Speaker Lab catalogs, uh, tech uh, files, loudspeaker designs, Speaker Lab K. I have all the originals uh, in absolutely superb shape. And that's what we're scanning them on. Uh, to load these in and this will be part of the documentary a uh, little added history um, there really is no owner of speaker lab now there was a lot of debate when they closed down after 2015 there were some guys that tried to take it on the closest person to really kind of reliving speaker lab as far as a brand and speakers is uh, tom at uh, sl speakers so he is rebuilding speaker labs he's working on sevens and point ones and some pretty cool product so if you're interested in that yeah, his website is speakerlab.net. The speakerlab.com website was sold, unfortunately, and is uh, owned by a motivational speaker. And then last, the go-to speaker lab expert is Paul Johnston at the loudspeaker store. So if you have any old speaker lab speakers, you want to know anything about crossovers, you want to buy crossovers, you want speakers repaired, then the loudspeaker store with Paul Johnston is your go-to guy. He is absolutely known as the speaker lab expert, as well as other uh, manufacturers, uh, Nestrovich, Klipsch, and so on. Uh, I am not affiliated with either of those two companies. Um, I know both gentlemen pretty well. Uh, I would think they're both my friends. But on this case, we're going to uh, keep moving on with our speaker lab document and uh, documentary, excuse me, and adding all the documents in. And I think it'll be good for everybody. So that concludes this little uh, little long forward on this, but a little history is needed. And then uh, as I add and load in more catalogs, I'll just uh, probably jump right into those with no forward. All right, thanks a lot.
I could have. Oh, oh, oh.